Yes, Raquel. Ay, sorry, I'm again. Yes. Can okay, you, uh, Raquel, tell us, you about, tell us about your, uh, your okay. motivation for studying the C1. Okay, um, yes, um, I, I work in a, in, a, in a Danish company and I need to improve my English because I need to, to work every day uh, with, this, uh, with this language and I need to improve uh, uh, to other level, upper level, and it's, uh, it's the reason uh, to, to, to be here. Okay, okay, so all of you, you are for work. Okay, that's good. I mean, that's good. That's good. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. So now, guys, I'm going to ask you to mute the microphone, okay? Because if not, you're not going to be able to hear me well. If you want to speak, you connect the microphone or you, uh, you can write in the chat or whatever you want, okay? Thank you. Okay, so that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do... Don't copy, I mean, don't copy. Uh, I'm going to pass this document to you. We are going to see it together. Uh, I'm going to just provide you with the information. Um, Teacher, sorry, you know, the sound, this, your, your, your microphone, I think, is off. Marta. Teacher, teacher, sorry, your microphone, I think, is off. Your microphone is off, I think. Oh, oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so I was saying that, uh, Maria, uh, we're going to we're going to see the structure of the of the exam, just that, and that I'm going to pass you every document. Okay, so not necessity of of copying everything. Now we are going to see it. Okay. Now we are going to see it together and then at home you can still read it in depth. Okay, so this is the structure. All of this is in Spanish. I'm going to be uh, just translating for you. Okay, the first uh, part that we encounter in Aptis, uh, Aptis is about four hours long. Okay, and the first is speaking. Okay, so it is about 10 minutes and you're going, you're not going to be with an examiner in the Aptis. Okay, you're going to be in front of your, of your laptop. Okay, in the in the center where when where you do the exam. Okay, so uh, guys, the first part is speaking. It is about ten minutes. Okay, in the first part, we will encounter two photographs. Okay, that we will have to uh, compare. Okay, and um, we will have to answer to two questions related to the topics in these images. Okay. And we're, don't worry, because we will practice everything. For example, in the second part, we will find three questions related, with, related, for example, with the topic of health. Okay, for example, and it will just, you will have to answer to three questions, for example, related to the topic of health or pollution or economy, something like that. Okay, now I will show you uh, an example. And in the second part, you are going to develop a topic for one minute and a half, okay? And they are going to give you advantages and disadvantages, okay? And you can choose some of the advantages, some of the disadvantages, and you're going to be able to, uh, um, to provide your, your explanation about the topic, okay? For example, to develop a topic, develop the topic of pollution, uh, um, of or I don't know something related uh, to pollution could be commuting by car okay commuting by car so two advantages for example um, you can go alone so this is comfortable uh, two disadvantages um, it is more expensive okay so you give your opinion this is not right or wrong I mean, they want you to, 
to listen to you speaking in, in English. I'm going to so show you about this part. Okay, so um, you will see, we will practice all of these, okay? We will practice the common mistakes. Uh, we, will, we will see how not to do it, how to do it about the pictures and so, and so on. Uh, some us useful uh, phrases. Also, we will see uh, that the most important is not only you comparing the photos, but also answering to the questions that are provided. Okay, so uh, different examples. This is about inventing. Okay, guys, this is about uh, speaking about whatever you see in the in the pictures. So you don't have to. Well, you have to invent. For example, in this about pollution. We will see, okay? And I want to tell you, we will practice all of this. Okay, in the app, this, this is the structure, okay? So you will find um, this, or a question, and then this is like the, the page of the exam, okay? So that you know, you get familiar with, with the exam a little bit. Okay, so that's it you know that you can have with Aptis Advanced, you can have a C1 or C2, se me ha pillado. It's getting stuck. Oh my God. Okay, okay. So the first part is always speaking, okay? In front of your laptop with headphones and a microphone, okay? So you won't uh, have to be in front of an examiner, okay? So, mm you won't get uh, nervous or something like that. Next part, listening. Listening is 30 minutes, okay, guys? We will practice also these. Well, we are going to practice everything. Uh, we have uh, five recordings, five short recordings, okay? And this is going to be multiple choice. Multiple choice means A, B, C, or D, just that. Okay, you don't have to complete the gaps. You don't have to do nothing about these. Okay, just um, completing, uh, just marking the, the right question, okay? The right answer, sorry. Second, three recordings. In this case, it is going to be more and more difficult as you progress in the exam. It is from uh, C1 to C2. So it starts, the first exercises are always like C1 and then they, are, they get more and more difficult as the test progresses. So number one is the easiest, whereas three is the hardest, okay? Um, okay, three recordings, again, a, a, B, C, or D. And in the in the third part, we have a conversation between a woman and a man, okay, about a topic, and then A, B, C, or D. And four, uh, it is going to be two monologues, but, well, this is, again, a conversation, okay? Uh, that's it. All of the listening is multiple choice. You don't have to complete anything, okay? So just... A, B, C, or A, B, C, or D, just that. If you have doubts, let me know, okay, about the parts and so on. Uh, reading. Reading is about 60 minutes, and it is also divided into four parts, okay? So, I'm going to minimize this so that you can see it better. Okay, so for example, in the first exercise, which is the easiest, uh, you have some statements, okay? You have a statements and you have to associate the statement depending on the person, on the text that uh, is there. Don't worry about that, okay? Um, then this is a little bit, a little bit hard, number two, which is associating titles to different paragraphs, okay? Titles or paragraphs to different paragraphs. I'm going to show you. Okay, the, for example, the, this would be an example, okay? So you have, um, you see a text containing different paragraphs and you have gaps, okay? And then you have, 
different paragraphs that you have to insert in the different gaps. OK, so that would be one uh, exercise of the exam. OK, it is not it is not difficult in the format, but it is difficult in the content. OK, we will do one day this text. So don't worry about that. Estoy diciendo todo el rato, don't worry. Nos quiero asustar. <laughs> A ver, I cannot do that. OK. Uh, more things. OK, so for example, exercise three is to um, just completing gaps, OK, but with the words that you have uh, in a column. OK, so you just move the mouse. OK, and uh, for it is also to complete a uh, blanks. OK, and that's it. Tenéis una columna y vais moviendo, OK, uh, para meterlo en, en los huecos. That's it. OK, so in the reading, this is the, the same. Number uh, exercise one is the easiest, exercise four is the hardest. More things. Writing. Okay, writing is 45 minutes and you're going to have three uh, tasks. Okay, the first is uh, is the easiest and it is going to require from 30 to 40 words, okay? And in this case, you are going to... En el reading no tenéis que escribir nada, eh? Solo asociar. En el writing ya es cuando tenéis que escribir. Okay, so the first is... They are going to require that you write about uh, 35 words and, or so on. Mm, related to something you do on a social network or in a club. For example, one question could be, hello, uh, why have you joined to this reading club? And you have to write, oh, I just joined to this reading club because I really like it. I really love reading uh, novels, whatever. Okay, so 40 words. This is very easy. Or Hello, uh, welcome to this page, which is about, uh, I don't know, uh, football matches. Okay, so, um, so you say, oh, I joined because I really like football. Is always the same, okay? So it is going to be about joining something. For example, a club of reading, a reading club, if a club for, I don't know, whatever, okay? ¿Por qué te has, eh, mm, I don't know, ¿por qué te has suscrito a este blog? Algo así, ¿ok? Because I really like it and, ok, we will find expressions, ¿ok? I will teach you expressions, like difficult, like C1, C2 expressions, so that you can include them in, in this type of writings, because maybe what sometimes happens is that... Um, all that you write is correct, okay, guys? Everything that you write is correct, but it is like mm, there's something missing, okay? Uh, B, B2, it is like B2, B1. You have to be, you have to use difficult vocabulary, difficult words, difficult expressions. So we will be working on that also, okay? I will teach you some collocations, some phrasal verbs. We will review grammar so that you can include these words, these expressions, into simple things, okay? No es difícil, because they are going to tell you ¿Por qué te has eh, suscrito a este... Yes. <laughs> ¿Por qué te has suscrito a este... Yo qué sé, a este canal de música? ¿O por qué te has suscrito... ¿Veis? Es todo lo mismo. ¿Por qué te has suscrito a este blog de esta persona que es de... Mm, de comida sana, o por qué te has suscrito, ok, va a caer una, I don't know, I don't know which one, ok. La pregunta es fácil, ¿dónde está el C1, el C2 o si se suspende? Ya no es que esté bien lo que contestéis, o sea, vuestra opinión da igual, ok. Simplemente quieren ver difficult vocabulary, difficult expressions and all of these, ok. Si yo pongo, a ver, ¿por qué me he metido en ese... Mmm, 
¿O por qué te has metido en un, en un club, de, eh, yo qué sé, en un blog de aprender inglés? Si yo digo, oh, I joined because I really like English, I consider it a very important language in the world, it's good, but eso lo puede decir uno del B2, ¿me entendéis, no? Entonces, eso es lo que quiero que practiquemos. Pues podemos decir, English is a global lingua franca, which acts as a means, as a bridge, uh, communicating both uh, cultures, different cultures and lifestyle, okay? So, a, a little bit more, more developed, okay? Second, que me enrollo, second. Uh, you have to write an email, a formal email. What is a formal email, guys? A complaint, uh, asking for information, something like that. I will give you one. I will give you one as an example, okay? So that you can learn by heart some expressions like uh, yours faithfully, best regards, and so, and so on, okay? And finally, we will have to write an article, okay? And this is a little bit, it seems a little bit complicated because you're going to have figures, figures, cifras, okay? Mm, and we will see how to include data, datos, okay, data, into texts and so on, okay? Let me see, find this, okay? So we will see vocabulary about graphs. Eso todos lo doy, eso todos lo daré, okay? Okay, we will see different things about graphs. No, no os asustéis por las tablas, eh. Solo es, es simplemente, por ejemplo, la tabla gives info the, the, the chart gives information about, vale, frases or uh, you see nouns a rise of una subida de un incremento de uh, un what does it say un desarrollo de okay. So I will give you this. So, this is vocabulary. Okay. And this is, well, the most complicated. What I would recommend to you, this is, guys, think, I'm, I'm preparing you psychologically for the exam. So, think that this is going to be 45 minutes, okay? And um, what is going to ascertain your mark, your final mark, is this one, because this is the most difficult. So what I would recommend you is that you do first this, and then you go back to the, to, to the other ones, okay? So you should be doing this the first, so that you know that it is the, you have the, the utmost uh, mark. And the final part. Well, I will I will tell you something more about all of these. You have this in the chat, okay? The document, I mean. Let me see. Okay, now. So, guys, the last one. Now I will tell you about the last one or not the last one. I will tell you. The last part is 50 questions that it is 50 points and 25 divided into 25 related to grammar and 25 about vocabulary okay so um this is what is going to determine your level of english okay now i i i'm going to show it to you because uh, we're going to do it in class I don't know your level, guys. I don't know your level yet, but we're going to do this part today so that you are able to see it. You are going to be able to, to, to see it and to, to study it. And grammar. You can have verbal tenses. Present simple, present perfect, present... Uh, per, uh, sorry, past perfect. Future continuous. Okay, future perfect. Uh, conditionals, modal verbs, the passive, reported speech, the causative, have something done. Espero que os suenen estas cosas, aunque sea que os suenen. Um, also, grammar, guys, grammar includes not only tenses, but also uh, expressions, 
okay? Uh, collocations, a collocation is a fixed expression in the language that we have to study by heart, ¿vale? Collocation es una expresión fija que tenemos que aprendernos de memoria, ¿ok? Como un proverbio en español, pues te lo sabes o no, o no te lo sabes, ¿ok? So this is the same. Phrasal verbs, well, this, is, this would be more in vocabulary. And in vo the vocabulary section, we, you will find uh, synonyms or definitions, uh, completing gaps. Well, it, it all depends, but the only uh, thing that is sure is that 25 belong to the grammar part and 25 to the vocabulary part, okay? And it is 50 points, and it is what is going to determine your level. Marta, ¿qué significa que esto va a determinar mi nivel? If you have B2, imaginaos que esto me sale fatal, B2, C1, 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 y aquí me sale una puntuación muy alta, mi nota va a ser C1, aunque en una parte me haya dado B2, ¿vale? Por ejemplo, si la liáis más en una parte, el writing o el listening, o incluso si la liáis en dos partes, y aquí tenéis un 50, vamos a suponer que en todas las partes tenéis C1, y en dos tenéis eh, B2. Esta parte, claro, serían cuatro partes. Pues imaginaos, dos B2, dos C1. Si aquí tengo un 50, un 49, tiene que ser algo así, ¿ok? C1. Así que, this is very important, ¿ok? Because, because it's going to give you the, the boost, the boost, if you, don't, if you don't have it. So, guys, what is sure is that speaking is the first exercise, the first component, okay? And that speaking usually is the, is the second, okay? Uh, for the rest, reading grammar and vocabulary and writing, um, you can choose, okay? Because you are going to have um, a paper, okay, with the codes for entering uh, into the net, And you can choose. Uh, now I do the writing. Now I do the list, the, um, the grammar and vocabulary part. Okay, so you are going to be able to choose. Entre las partes también se puede ir al baño, ¿vale? Um, no, nada de, de comer o tomar un almuerzo, eso no. Al baño sí, ¿vale? Pero dura, pues, cuatro horitas el examen. A ver, dejadme ver. Eh, tres horas y media. Tres horas y media sí, ¿vale? So, you have to be psychologically prepared. So, guys, do you have doubts? ¿Tenéis dudas? O sea, todo yes, lo vamos a ir viendo. Yes? I have a question. Uh, yes. Is exam in, uh, is online or is a presencial uh, exam? Okay, so you have to do it in the British Council or in another, in another place in Alcorcón, I think. But you have to go. You have to go, but you do it on a laptop. But you have to go, guys, okay? And you're not going to be able to have uh, anything more than the paper. The paper they give you with the codes for entering in the, in the web. And a, a pen, if you want, just that. Because you're going to leave your books, your material, your mobile phone on a pigeonhole, en un casillero, on a pigeonhole. You leave everything on a pigeonhole. So the only thing you have is the, the paper sheet they give you that is written on just one side and in the other side you can make notes, okay? Esa, esa hoja ya sería para vosotros, la que os dan, ¿vale? No tengáis ninguna preocupación en, ay, madre mía, si hablo y se me cierra el... el el ordenador o yo que sé, pasa algo, se me cuelga, no pasa nada porque ahí va a haber, no son examinadores, pero sí que es, es gente que está ahí, ¿vale? Por si hay algún problema, ¿vale? De mo Otra cosa que, a la que os quiero preparar psicológicamente es la, pa la parte del speaking, eh, tenéis que estar súper concentrados porque, claro, todo el mundo, ¿vale? Todo el mundo tiene los cascos, que no son como estos, obviamente, eh, pero es que lo estáis haciendo todos a la vez, entonces os puede desconcentrar. Eso sí, ¿vale? Entonces, por eso ya hay que llevar, pues, estructuras ya aprendidas y todo eso, ¿ok? More doubts. Entonces, hay que ir, pero online. O sea, no hay un examinador. 
Ok, vais al British Council. El British Council está en, en Iglesia, en el metro de Iglesia, en Madrid. O en Alcorcón. Eso ya, eh, Jorge, os pasará eh, las listas de cuando os queréis apuntar y según el día que queráis, pues a lo mejor tenéis que ir a Madrid o Alcorcón. Ok, eso ya lo elegís vosotros. Elegís cuando apuntaros. Hay en verano y todo, ok, en agosto. So don't worry about that. More thanks, guys. Marta, sorry, I'm, I'm Maria. Tell me, tell me. Marta, uh, um, do you know if I, if, if, are there another centers in, for example, Cadiz? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Maybe in, but, uh, I'm, I can I can search for it. Yes, I, I I I'm sure. El British Council. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to look up for it just okay. now. Okay, thank British you. Council. You're you're welcome. So this is yes, I suppose so because um, this is in all Spain. This is in all Spain, guys. Okay. So okay, and I ha and I, ha I have another question. Yes. Uh, tell me. Yes, uh, I didn't ask uh, to, to Jorge if uh, we need to, pa to pay the, the taxes, the taxes uh, uh, to us, uh, access uh, to the exam, uh, apart uh, from this, uh, this amount in this course. Uh, okay, guys, whatever thing that is related to price, ask Jorge, okay? Because okay. I don't know about these things, but... Perfect, perfect. Is, okay. Up this uh, general is like 70 euros. I don't know. I don't know now because now it is uh, the price is put by the British Council. Okay. Not by us. Okay. And you have uh, up this general is 70 and now up this advance is 90, something like that. It is less than 100 euros, which is the like the less expensive. Los de Cambridge, chicos, siempre suelen costar 200, 220, ¿ok? Aptis es de Cambridge, ¿ok? Os sirve para oposiciones, eh, trabajo, tiene la misma validez, ¿ok? Cuesta menos porque son, es, es online. No precisa de un, de un examinador que esté físicamente, ¿ok? ¿Dudas sobre el examen? La estructura, bueno, todo lo veremos, I mean... We will review everything and so on. Okay, guys, so now we are going to... to do one part of the exam. ¿Y por qué hacemos eh, una parte si no os he explicado nada? Quiero saber, I, I want to know your level, okay? So I want to know if you know a lot of things. I want to see if you if you don't, okay, or if you need more review or whatever. Okay. Gonna close this, all of this. Okay, this is it. Mm -mm. Okay, the third. Okay, so for example, guys, this is one part of the exam. Obviamente no es el formato porque en el examen cada pregunta es una página y vais dando a la flechita y vais pasando y se puede retroceder, okay? So what we are going to do, I want to know your level. If you are very lost or if you know everything and you say, oh, that's good. So this is the grammatical and vocabulary part of the exam, okay? So, I want you to give it a go. I want you to try to make an attempt of this. So, guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Lo que yo hago con mis alumnos es que le, les doy tiempo. Vosotros ahora trabajáis solos. Eh, y luego corregimos, okay? Quiero esto lo, tomároslo como una prueba de nivel para primer contacto con el examen. ¿Vale? De gramática hemos dicho que puede entrar cualquier cosa, los tiempos verbales, collocations, que son cosas que hay que aprender de memoria, eh, phrasal verbs, verbs, ok, tenses, tenses son los tiempos verbales, 
Y en vocabulary, pues en el vocabulario tenemos todo, puede entrar cualquier cosa que sea de léxico. Pensad que, pensar que, eh, chicos, que, que se puede sacar un C2. Es decir, que, que va a haber cosas que sean muy difíciles. Esto no es para desanimaros, al contrario, es para deciros, chicos, que no hace falta sacar un 10 para aprobar el, el, el examen. Esto es como eh, el examen de conducir, apto o no apto. O sea, te da igual tener 10 faltas leves que una o cero, porque es, si es apto, es apto. Pues esto es lo mismo, chicos. Si, si aprobáis, si aprobáis la parte, por ejemplo, esta parte la aprobáis, ya está, ¿ok? Entonces, no os asustéis si a lo mejor hay cosas que no sabéis, porque eso es bueno, ¿ok? Eso es que vais a aprender. Ok, so, guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Tenéis, tenéis el examen aquí, miradlo de aquí, lo vais, lo vais haciendo y... Now we will correct it, okay? You do it on your own, on your own.
Okay. una duda
María.
Okay, guys, I suppose I suppose that you have finished. Uh, this part in the exam is going to be like 25 minutes, no more than that, one minute per answer. So what we are going to do now is that uh, we are going to correct it, okay? I'm going to give you the answers and so on, okay? It is not necessary that you write the correct answer in the chat. I'm going to tell you and you correct your own your own piece of paper or your notes, okay? So uh, the first are, uh, well, later I will ask for your feedback, okay? If you, if you have found these uh, sentences difficult or easy, okay? So uh, guys, the first is the first one, okay? I haven't been to the theater for ages, okay? Eh, been to, no he estado en el teatro, ¿ok? Desde hace años. Ok, I know that you, can, you could think that it is B, but it is A. Actually, we will see the differences between uh, been and gone, ¿ok? Been to means eh, estar, ¿ok? So, this is like a, like a collocation. Number two, a motorbike doesn't cost as much as a car. Una moto no cuesta tanto eh, como un coche, ¿ok? So, as, mm, as, tanto como, ¿ok? This, we will see it with comparatives and so on. Comparativo de igualdad, we will see it. I will pass you everything. Yo, chicos, no mando deberes. L mis deberes... Bueno, algún día si queda algo, sí. Pero yo no mando deberes. Los deberes es leer eh, lo que yo mande de algo de gramática o de vocabulario o repasar lo que vemos en clase, ¿ok? No, con eso ya os aseguro que es mucho. Ok. Three. I told him not to go there. This is, guys, this is reported speech, ¿ok? I will pass a, a PowerPoint when we see it. Okay, I'll tell, I, I told him what not to do it. Okay, not to go there, not to swim, not to, okay? So it is, it is like that. This is reported speech. Number four, I wish you hadn't said that. Okay, we will see that for referring to the past, if we want to refer to the past, we need the past perfect. Eh, si no sabéis eso que es del past perfect, o sea, no sé si sabéis la nomenclatura de, de cada tiempo verbal. Os voy a pasar una cosa para que vayáis haciendo... Uh, which is the correct one? Okay, I suppose both of, the, of them are the same. So, um, os voy a pasar esto, este documento que es equivalencias de tiempos verbales. I'm going to show you a little bit. Esto es lo que podéis ir practicando. Eh, bueno, simplemente lo podéis leer. Okay. Eh, of course, of course, I will teach you all of this, but if you know that infinitivo es trabajar y que en inglés es con un to y con una forma base del verbo, pues esto no cuesta nada leérselo, ¿ok? Poco a poco, son nueve páginas, pero es poco, ¿veis? Tenemos aquí, pues, equivalencias de tiempos verbales, ¿vale? Para que nos vayas... Y todo en español, todo explicado en español, ¿vale? Por si tenéis dudas. Pues el participio es lo que acaba en edo, ado, eh, ido. En inglés va a, ser un, va a ser también el participio, una tercera columna en los verbos irregulares y ed en los verbos regulares. Ok, esto está explicado aquí. You don't have to... Ok, you have the imperative, eh, then you have the present. Claro, fijaos, esto es un repaso. Entonces, simple present. No, no está completo, ¿vale? Pero tenéis eh, formas. Yo trabajo, I work. Trabajas, do you work. Así vais recordando... Pues que en la tercera persona se añade una S, todo esto, ¿no? No está explicado todo porque se supone que os vais a sacar el C1, ¿vale? Esto lo doy también por hecho un poco, ¿ok? De todas formas, cualquier duda, el próximo día si leéis esto o 
la semana que viene o en dos semanas, me da igual, cuando sea, decís, oye Marta, que el present perfect no lo entiendo por más que he mirado esto, que no me acuerdo de nada. Ok, and we see the present perfect. So you have the present perfect and you have sentences in Spanish, sentences in English, present perfect continuous, things that you should take into account, ok, and you have these past tenses, well, you have the past simple, past continuous, past with would, por ejemplo, sabemos que el would es el condicional, ¿Vale? Cuando yo digo, yo haría eso, I would do that, yo nadaría, ese ia es el would, pero también se utiliza como el como pasado, por ejemplo, yo solía trabajar allí o yo trabajaba allí, ¿ok? Used to is the same, past perfect, well, you see this, you have the, the future, with going to present continuous, with present tense, with will, the conditionals, esto, ¿veis los conditionals? Está reducido a esto, esto lo veremos, haremos ejercicios. Modal verbs, we have an example in here. Modal verbs in the past. Passive, eso ya os daré un PowerPoint incluso de la pasiva, ¿vale? Nada, esto es el, el, el esquema de lo de antes, ¿ok? Pues algunas coinciden en español, si traducís literalmente, otras, otros tiempos no, ¿ok? So there you have it. So, when, whenever you have wish, for example, if you refer to the past simple, you have to, re to put it in the present perfect. I wish is deseo. I wish if only, ¿ok? Cuando nos referimos al pasado simple, tenemos que poner pasado perfecto. ¿Veis? Esto de pasado perfecto, yo diré, pasado perfecto, presente perfecto, esto os, tiene que, os tenéis que familiarizar con estos nombres. Ponemos had más el participio. ¿Vale? El participio. ¿Qué es el participio? Lo que acaba en ado, edo, ido. Y en los verbos irregulares, ¿veis? Es la tercera columna. Y si fuera un verbo regular, sería... Si fuera play, played, played, sería ed. La tercera, pero ed. ¿Ok? Number five. He had his card repaired after the accident. This structure is called have something done. Have something done. Eso es una estructura, ¿vale? Que es el causativo en inglés. Esto lo veremos cuando veamos la pasiva. Cuando alguien te hace algo. Por ejemplo, si lleváis el coche al taller. Eh, voy a arreglar el coche hoy. Vale, pero ¿lo vas a arreglar tú o te lo van a arreglar? ¿Ok? Esto en inglés se expresa de otra manera. Y la estructura es have something done. Siempre el have se conjuga. En medio pongo el objeto. En este caso es his car. Y luego done, pongo un participio. ¿Cuál es el participio de repair? Repaired. Ok. This is because of that. So he had his car repaired after the accident. Le arreglaron el coche después del accidente. Ok. Later you will give me your, your feedback. Six. Don't forget to call your mother. Ok. Don't forget to do something. Los verbos, cuando queremos unir dos verbos, Aquí tenemos un verbo y aquí tenemos call, que es otro, ¿no? Cuando los unimos, normalmente voy a poner eh, un to en el 90% de los casos, ¿vale? Pero puede que haya, hay verbos, hay verbos eh, tras los cuales tengo que poner ing. Eso también os daré una lista. No os puedo dar todo hoy, chicos, porque entonces diré, decir, madre mía, es mucho, no. No es mucho, no es tanto. Ok, vamos a ver todo poco a poco. Seven, if you, ask, if you had asked me, guys, this is a conditional with, um, with a modal verb, which is might, ok, and it is, see, I might have gone. You have this in the, in the document that I have passed to you right now. Ok, if you had asked me, si me hubieras preguntado, I might have gone. Podría haber ido. ¿Ok? Podría haber ido. Eight. They are used to going. Después de to, eh, chicos, siempre, 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 siempre ponemos el verbo en forma base. ¿Qué es forma base? La primera columna. Go, come, by. El verbo tal cual, ¿no? Pero hay, hay excepciones, ¿vale? Y used to, 
es estar acostumbrado y detrás de used to voy a poner ing, ing al, al verbo. ¿Vale? Pero porque es una excepción. Normalmente, eh, normalmente siempre de, después de to viene una primera eh, columna. Let's see. Nine. Mm -mm -mm. What's her boyfriend like? What's her boyfriend like? This is an expression you know. ¿Cómo es su novio? Okay. What's the weather like today? This is asking, asking for, for information. Okay, maybe I'm going too fast. More. Ten. It is B, okay? And you may say, Marta, pero si hay hat, hat. Okay, this is past perfect. This is the past perfect of hat. Después de haber. Ok, and now we have the phrasal verb. ¿Cómo es cenar, chicos? No es to dinner, es to have dinner. Ok, entonces tengo que incluir este hat. Is the auxiliary verb. And this is the phrasal verb of having dinner. Ok, so... Uh, después de haber, and this is the verb, okay? So, this is the correct option. Now, which is the correct one of 11? 11, while we were walking on the high street, a man came up to us, okay? So, uh, we use the, pre the, the past continuous, okay? And then... When we have the past continuous, then we have a, um, an action in the past simple. Ok, mientras estábamos haciendo eh, no sé qué, ¡pum! Algo pasó. Eso es el past simple. ¿Cómo, se, cómo contrastan estos, estos dos tiempos? Ok, esto es para ver vuestro nivel, ¿eh? No tenéis que saber hacer el examen el primer día, ok. So, 12. I used to know him because you want the past, okay? I used to know him a very long time ago. 12. I used to know him. 13. When they lived in Paris, they would walk to walk every day. Lo bueno del multiple choice es que si yo eh, no me sé algo... Lo tengo que hacer a voleo, chicos. Nunca lo dejéis en blanco porque no baja, ¿vale? No baja. Entonces yo, si, si no me lo sé, pues a voleo. Ya está. No os estoy diciendo, obviamente, que lo hagáis a voleo. Es no lo dejéis en blanco. Ok. So, when they lived in Paris, they would walk. Hemos dicho que el would era el condicional, pero también se usa para el pasado. Él and, and, andaba. Ok, es el, el... ¿Cómo se llama? Pretérito imperfecto en español. Eso lo tenéis en la tabla de equivalencias. So, would walk. Would walk means past. 14. Don't forget to tell. We have forget in here. We have seen forget. Where, where was it? Forget, forget, forget. Don't forget to... Don't forget to tell. Ok. Don't forget to tell him to come to dinner on Friday. Ok, with uh, days of the week, we put on. With months, we put in. With hours, we put at. Fifteen, don't start complaining. Lo que ya os he dicho. Para unir a un, un verbo con otro, normalmente es to, pero eh, hay un 15% de verbos tras los cuales tengo que poner ing, ¿vale? Si dudo, pongo tú, porque es más probable, ¿no? Pero puede que sea ing. Esto os daré, os daré una lista de, nada, 15, 15 20, 20 verbos, ¿vale? Tras los cuales tenéis que poner ing, que es el gerundio. Ok, this is the gerund. No vamos a ver todos los días la gramática, pero la gramática es importante, es importante para, para el speaking, 
para luego el writing, ¿ok? A la gente, no, no me gusta la gramática, ¿vale? Pero, entonces, ¿cómo hablamos? ¿Ok? Choose the correct word. Además, chicos, ahora la gramática es hiper necesaria porque ya no es, me saco el B2. No, es ya eh, tengo competencia en la lengua. ¿Ok? Entonces, si tengo competencia en la lengua, sé mucho, ¿no? Entonces, por eso es, es muy importante estudiar la gramática. En este punto, sí o sí. Eh, choose the correct word. 16. Marbella is a beautiful town beside the sea. Beside the sea. Beside, this is a, a trick, guys, because beside is, means next to. And besides means moreover. So the word besides exists also. But besides is next to and besides is moreover, furthermore. Okay, so it is without the S. Because it, it means something difficult. It's a, a different, sorry. 17. I need your decision by by 8 o'clock. So by 8 o'clock, I need your decision. Para esta hora tienes que tener, eh, necesito tu decisión. Es decir, ya me la tienes que dar a las 8, ¿no? Ok, bye. Um, 18. The headlines, the headlines of the newspapers were full of the scandal. Ok. Luggage control at the Airport is impossible these days. Okay, guys, this is vocabulary. Okay, here is vocabulary. So, um, this is a collocation luggage control, passport control. Okay, 20. The government is planning to, mm, you have different things in here, to raise. Okay, the government is planning to raise. Okay. Taxes es imponer, imponer impuestos, ¿ok? A tax es un impuesto. Rise es elevar, es decir, la palabra existe, pero veis, juegan con el spelling. Esto es raise, raise, rise, raise, rise. And then we have the vocabulary part. Okay, so in this section, guys, uh, you're going to select the word that fits there. So, which word doesn't fit? La que no pega. Tenemos que elegir la que no, okay? So, gregarious, sociable, civic, mean. I have to know the meanings of this. In this case, we have adjectives, okay? Me preguntaréis, Marta, ¿y de qué me estoy el vocabulario de todo? Os pasaré vocabulario, ¿vale? Pero es de todo. Family, eh, adjectives. Here we have things in the branches, leaves. This is about trees. This is about, this is about trees. Uh, this is about things in your house. This is about clothes. This is about a hospital. Okay, so this is very wide, okay? This is very wide. So we have gregarious, which is gregario, sociable, sociable, civic, and mean. Mean es tacaño. So, esa es la que no pega. Okay. All of them related to being sociable. And mean, what does it mean, bla, 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 bla? Mean tiene diferentes significados. Vale, al igual que en español tenemos la polisemia de las palabras, como la palabra banco, tal... En inglés también, mean es un verbo que significa significar. What do you mean by I mean? También significa querer decir. Pero como adjetivo, si cambiamos la categoría gramatical como adjetivo, significa tacaño. ¿Veis? Esto ya también veremos otro día adjetivos de estos más... Es que no os van a preguntar tall o short. Es que es un C1, chicos. Eso ya se da por hecho. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver los... Los más difíciles. A ver, la que no pega. Branch, rama, leaf, eh, hoja, sleeve, manga, twig, ramita. 
para que no pegas esto. Si yo me sé las cosas, el examen es fácil, ¿ok? Porque la estructura es fácil. Está, está la respuesta aquí, ¿ok? Si no me lo sé, me, me confundo, me marco algo, ¿ok? 23 cooker, root, fridge, dishwasher. dishwasher. So, root es raíz. Para que no pegas esa. Dishwasher, you know, fridge. And cooker. Cooker, espero que no penséis que es cocinero. Cocinero es cook. Al igual que cocinar. Y cooker es, a ver si lo digo. Eh, let me think in Spanish, guys. Cooker es donde cocináis. Estufa, yes. Thank you, María. Estufa, yes. So, cook, cocinero. Estufa, sí. Estaba pensando si... Sí, el fuego. El fuego donde cocináis es la estufa, sí. So that's cooker. So this is the one that is not... It doesn't fit in here. And 24. We are about to finish. 24. Color, calf, sink, lapel. Color is uh, the, el cuello de la camisa, ¿vale? Ok. Calf es el puño, pero el puño... Eh, no, es, no es, es el puño de, de, de una camisa, ¿vale? Puño es fist. Sink, lavabo, lapel, solapa. So this is related to clothes and sink is related to uh, the house. So, no. And the last one, we have clinic ward, trunk, x-ray, trunk. Why? Because trunk is, tronco, is related to, to this one, right? And, guys, what is word? Una sala, ¿ok? Una sala de hospital, una sala de, de del dentista, eso es word. Or word, depending on the accent, ¿ok? So, how did you see it? What is your feeling? The structure is not difficult because it's multiple choice, A, B, C, or D, no more options, nothing to write. So I hope that you find, find it more or less easy, okay, guys. And if you have doubts, this is the moment. Esto es para que vosotros Marta. veáis. Yes. Uh, I missed the answer of the 16. Uh, which one? 11? 16. Ah, 16. Okay, yes. 16. Okay, besides, sorry. Okay, Thank you. Besides, is, uh, you're welcome. Besides, is next to and besides Morova. A todo el mundo, todo el mundo se sabe marcadores del discurso, es decir, además, por lo tanto, o queréis que pase una fotocopia, o sea, una fotocopia, un... Estaría bien. Es, vale. Lo que no, no quiero es... Bien. Voy a pasar todo, no, chicos. Bien. Lo que no quiero es pasarlo el primer día porque a lo mejor decís, madre mía, mucho trabajo con esta mujer. No, o sea, que, eh, mi, mi función es facilitaros las cosas, no que digáis, madre mía. A ver, this was Marcus, I'm going to find it here. Ok. So that you review, a ver chicos, yo os mando cosas, voy a abrirlo y os enseño. Yo os, ens yo os mando cosas y es que cada uno se adapta, ¿vale? Si yo veo todo lo que pase, eh, la mayoría de las cosas estarán en español, porque alguien que no se entera, eh, a lo mejor si se lo dicen en español ya se entera, ¿no? Imaginaos que yo eh, soy la alumna, ¿vale? Pues lo que haría yo es Ah, pues me lo leo por encima. At first sight, first of all, in the first place, to start with... Ah, vale, pues me sé todas. ¿Veis? Si os lo sabéis todas, ¿veis? Aquí tenéis besides. Besides con S es además. Y para decir además, tenéis muchas opciones. In addition to, moreover, in addition... ¿Ok? Establecer un contraste, however, instead of, nevertheless, on the contrary. ¿Ok? Cualquier palabra que no sepáis pronunciar, nevertheless sobre una S, Ahora que me fijo. Eh, vais a what reference. Ay, pues no sé cómo pronunciar esto. Vais a what reference. Y ya está, ¿ok? Uh, or you ask me the following day. It doesn't matter. So, what I would do if I were you is that I would be reading very quickly these. Ah, oh, mm, 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 I know all of them. 
oh, maybe I don't know this one, I'm going to write it down, and that's it, ¿ok? Parece mucho lo que os mando, pero si lo sabéis, esto es para que lo veáis así, ah, pues, ok. Expressing opinion, modifying what is being said, eh, giving examples, eh, summing up what it has been said, sequencing the narration, after that, all of a sudden, ok, so this is very, very useful. I'm going to pass it. María uh, has asked me... No, 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 no. Hay 25 de vocabulario y 25 de gramática. Hemos hecho como la mitad, ¿ok? As otro día hacemos, hacemos más. Ok, guys, doubts. About the exam, about the... How the classes are going to be. I'm going to put this... Maybe Sorry, Marta. Yes. So, so then we have uh, 50 minutes, I imagine, to the to the grammar and vocabulary. No, no, no. 20, 25. 25. Ah, 25 only to to five to 50 questions. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it is like uh, 30 seconds per answer. Okay. 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 Well, uh, if you know, you know, and if not, you invent. So, okay. it is going to be quick, okay, quick. Yes. More questions, guys. Something about anything, lo, de lo que sea. Cambio el español mucho, no, en, en C1 no hablo nada en español, lo que pasa es que aquí, como no sé el nivel, como no os tengo en persona, pues es como que no sé si me entendéis o no. Tengo ese miedo. De todas formas, si alguien se pierde en, al, en las clases, pues me lo pone por el chat, ¿vale? Marta, uh, yes. question. If, if we get uh, more than a half the, the, the questions, for example, more than uh, 25 points, uh, we get the C1 in this part, or which is the punctuation? More or less, you have to have like 42, something like that. Okay, 42 to get the C1. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because if not... Ah, I was going to tell you something, guys. The positive thing of APTIS. The positive thing of APTIS is that you are going to get a certificate. You pay, but you are going to get a certificate. Aquí no vais a suspender, chicos. Eso es lo bueno. Puede que no saquéis el C1, pero sacaríais el, B, el B2, ¿vale? O sea, sí, ay, la he liado en el listening, la he liado. Y me ha salido súper baja la nota. Bueno, pues un, un B2 si da, ¿vale? Eso es lo bueno, que por lo menos algo os lleváis. Claro que si necesitáis el, el C1, bueno, pero para algo servirá el B2 o el B1, ¿ok? O whatever. Ok, guys, so we have finished. See you next day. Hope that you have a, a nice a nice week. Okay, and, and that you are well. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank okay, you, guys. Bye bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.